Thanks, Jamie. Thanks, everyone. Um, guys, welcome. This is uh, this is absolutely amazing to be here. Uh, such an incredible event. Hopefully, it's the last one before we get to see everyone in person. But uh, I'm I'm super super excited. I'm not going to take a lot of time here, but a uh, very important topic that I'm going to discuss with um, with all of you right now, and that's uh, and that's leadership. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I'm an executive director. And uh, just a little bit about me, but uh, I actually studied kinesiology and geography uh, while playing varsity football. I know I don't look like it, but I can run pretty fast. Um, I did go to teacher's college um, also while playing soccer. And um, I played soccer, you know, all, all over the world. So um, that was great, but, you know, didn't, didn't really make me any money. Before this, I actually worked at Best Buy as a sales rep and I uh, started two soccer academies as well while working as a logistics manager. And I had no financial education, no background, nothing. I had no business being in business. And so leadership really lacked for me. Um, there's one very, very important thing that everyone needs to remember is regardless of what you do in an organization, you have the opportunity and you have the responsibility to show leadership. And that's from the great Robin Sharma. So who is a leader? And guys, these are just some of the important people in my life that have taught me what leadership is all about. So it could be a soccer coach. It could be a hockey coach. It could be any kind of coach that you've had in sport. Um, the second picture there you'll see is two boys that I actually saw in Israel while I was competing with Canada. Um, they are also leaders. They're actually the future leaders of this world. The third guy you'll see there is my teacher from grade six, actually. We ended up meeting after almost 25 years, and he was a very integral part of my life. He taught me a lot. And uh, that funny looking guy on the end there, Jamie Prickett has taught me, you know, almost everything I've needed to learn about leadership. So what is a leader exactly? Well, it's someone who is mentally tough and they don't just talk about it. They actually exemplify it in every facet of their lives with their family, with their friends, in sports, in business, and probably one of the most important things with their health. Because we're building a business here that we want to enjoy for as long as possible. And we want our family to enjoy it with us. And so, guys, one of the most important things when you're leading yourself and you're leading this team is take care of your health, please. What are some characteristics of a leader? Well, they're humble. They're fit. They're approachable. They're intelligent. They're punctual. I have a saying that if you're early, you're on time. And if you're on time, you're late. That's, that's true. That's a true definition of punctuality for me. They're also coachable. They're open-minded and they're resourceful. Some other characteristics is they're tenacious. They're goal oriented. They're empathetic, encouraging, influential, patient, and they don't just bark orders. They actually show you the way on how to do things. More characteristics. A leader reads. You got to be reading every single day, whether it's one page, 10 pages, 100 pages, whatever it is, you got to be reading. A leader prospects. A leader studies their craft. A leader trains themselves, probably trains harder and more than anybody else on their teams. A leader coaches and a leader solves problems. They meditate. They lead from the front. They don't push from the back. They set goals. They always show up first and always show and always leave last. And again, they motivate. And a leader doesn't need a title. You don't need to be an executive director to be a leader. You don't need to be a senior manager to be a leader. You don't need to be a senior financial associate to be a leader. The minute you start here with Xperior, you are automatically a leader. And you can set an example for all the other people in the organization. You don't need a title to do that. So what does a path to leadership look like? Well, you know, looking at the negative side, it's got some heartache. It's got some hardship. You're going to be ridiculed. You're going to fail a bunch of times. And for those of you who think that failure is bad, no, no, no. Failure is good because you either win or you learn. You never lose. And so we have to change our mindset about failure and not think that it's always bad because we've been trained from elementary school and high school and university and, and our parents and our friends saying, don't fail, be careful. No, no, you got to fail, but you got to fail forward and you got to learn from your failures. You're going to go through a ton of adversity and it's never going to stop. But what's going to happen is you're going to get used to that adversity. 
and you're going to just blow through it. I guarantee you. You might lose some friends and maybe some family along the way. You're going to have a ton of worry every single day. And you're going to have a crap ton of judgment as well from people who have a smaller mindset than you and think that they know better. But you got to just stay the course. You got to be able to see your goals in a cloudy day when you think that everything is going away, but it's not. But what about the good stuff of leadership? Well, you're going to get a lot of security. Your income is going to grow. Your wealth is going to grow. You're going to find new friends that are going to support you and they're going to fight with you. You're going to be happier. You're going to build a legacy. Maybe some philanthropy as well. You're going to build confidence and more competence. And guys, the biggest thing I can tell you on the path to leadership is you are going to get freedom. Freedom to be with family. That for me, guys, and Mario talked about it earlier, is one of the most important things I think in life is family. You're going to have freedom to be with family. You're going to have freedom to live a good life and enjoy the finer things in life. So what are some resources? What are some things that you can read or some authors that you can read? Well, one is Simon Sinek revolutionized my life in business. Jordan Belfort, you might know him from the way of the wolf, Jim Rohn, amazing leadership, may you rest, amazing leader, may you rest in peace. Jamie Prickett, Ben Feldman, John Maxwell, Malcolm Gladwell, David Goggins, Robin Sharma, Tim Grover, Gary Keller, Ray Dalio, James Clear, Chris Voss, Rami Neustadt, and Dana Wilde. These are just some authors that you can look at if you want to learn and read about leadership. There's a saying that I have when you're leading people. You treat a man as he is and he will remain as he is. You treat a man as he could be and he will become who he should be. You got to look at every single individual that you recruit or prospect and bring into this business and see them as your next executive director, as your next leader. Whether they're a lonely little 18 year old that knows nothing about nothing, doesn't even know how to tie their shoes, they could be your next executive director and perhaps your biggest leader. So you got to treat everyone as they could be and they will become who they should be. So, in summary, we got to remember, we are the leaders of our lives. What happens to us is formulated by the things we do every single day. It's the little things we do every single day. This will guide us to where we should be. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my talk today. Jamie and Leanne, thank you so much for everything that you've done for myself, my family, and this amazing company. And I hope everyone here enjoys the rest of the convention. Thanks, everyone.